Welcome to this tutorial about creating a tab control in Blazor. I will create the whole tab control in the index.razor component. Of course, you can also build a component that is encapsulating the tab control logic. Here I start out with a, a field of type array with element type component base. I just call it components. And in here, I'm going to assign an array with all the components that we later want to be displayed in the tab control so the user can decide he or she can switch between these three components. Then I'm also going to define a read-only property or a get-only property, call it types, and I build the read-only property with this arrow sign here. So components, select. Now here we want to get the type, so C dot get type. And then I just call to array. Why we are needing this array will become clear shortly. And then I define a field in selected and because it's a field, it will start out with a default value of zero. Now, in here, I am going to define a method. The return type will be a render fragment. I name the method get render fragment. I define a param parameter of type type. First, I'm going to create a render fragment before I'm going to return it. Now you may ask yourself, what is a render fragment actually? Actually, it's a delegate type that is returning void and is expecting a render tree builder as an argument. So in here, I call it render tree builder. And then I'm using the, the Lambda syntax to define a delegate instance or I'm, yeah, a lot of times you will see that the words delegate instance or delegate type are used interchangeably. A render fragment is a delegate type, and this here is the delegate instance, and we are assigning a lambda method to this delegate instance. So I hope it is clear now. Now we are not returning anything. So what are we doing in here? In here we are building our render fragment. pass in our type, and then we can call close component. And of course we have to return the render fragment. So just to, to clear it up, because maybe I've, I've misspelled myself, render fragment is a delegate type. Render fragment in camel case written here is the delegate instance. And here we are defining a Lambda that we are assigning to this delegate instance because the Lambda is following the specification that the render fragment type here is giving us. Now, up here I'm defining a button group. Then I enumerate or for each over all the types. And then I'm checking if the index of the current type equals selected, then the, we have to display to the user that that's the, but that that's the component that is currently clicked. So we are styling the button with a class of primary. And then in here, you're just displaying the name. Then of course we have to have an else defined too. Here we just change primary with secondary. And then we have also to define a non-click method so that we can we can change the selected by reassigning a value to the selected uh, field. And this value is going to be 
retrieved or generated by again calling the index of method, the static index of method. And here we are passing again types and item. And we have exactly the same method here. And then here we are using our get render fragment method and just pass in the current selected type and we can get the type by using the you know, index or syntax or the, the array syntax. Yes, and actually I don't even think that we need this on click method here. We just need it because we have the value already. So I can delete it from there. So let's have a look. We should start out with counter because counter is zero. Then survey prompt, fetch data. So we see our tab control is working. 